I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? How's that also go? So- yeah. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind. Our guest today, Joey, Joey Rezuk. Re- Joey Rezuk. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to it. How you doing, Joey? I'm good. How are you? I am doing good. So your most two recent tracks, Ripping at the Seams and Door Off the Hinges, uh, Riverkin and Luna, two great producers working with you there. Mm-hmm. Um, on Ripping at the Seams, did you play the guitar sample that's in that? Uh, yeah, that's the only guitar sample I've ever played in a song. Ever? ever? It was just like one, one chord, one string. Just nice. Just don't, 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 don't. Uh, usually, like most thing, like most songs with like when we have guitar and shit, it's usually like River played it or um, if you guys know Jess, yeah, her brother plays a lot of a lot of my guitar. Nice, Brad Himmelberg. There we go. Shout out Brad. Shout out Brad. Shout Himmel out to Brad. You have like a a pretty popular hybrid of uh, like a hybrid genre that you kind of function within. I'm always interested to see, growing up, did you listen to more, like, emo music or more rap music? Like, which side influenced you more as a young, like, a young kid? Um, I don't know. When I was a kid, I listened to, like, a lot of weird stuff. Like, when I was really little, I listened to, like, a lot of, like, Fatboy Slim. Really? The first, like, like, rock music I listened to was probably, like, I don't know, probably, like, Blink-182 and stuff like that but I was never like super into like emo music I used to like when I like BM I used to like BMX in like sixth and seventh grade nice and we would listen to, like Double Wears Prada and like um fucking uh who like else? a day to remember and shit or like yeah it was like I would always listen to like those uh like the you know how like the Double Wears Prada has like the still fly still fly oh, you're talking about pump goes or uh Punk goes crunk. Punk goes crunk. Yeah. Punk yeah. goes crunk. Yeah, that's what that was. Yeah, fun. and then like Avenged Sevenfold and shit like that. But Hell I, I yeah. never listened to like too much rock music, to be honest with you. I always felt like Punk goes crunk was like a guilty pleasure thing for me. Like, yeah. I felt like really dumb that I liked it. Yeah, like, I was same. like, this is so stupid. And I always like, I. Oh, I was such a stupid kid. I like wanted so bad for them to do a screamo version of A Bay Bay. That would have been fire. Right, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just a little mic switch. <laughs> what is classic? Switch. I guess this one's better. Is it true that you also used to have Chingy as your MySpace song? Uh, this is some deep research. Yeah. What Chingy mm-hmm. track? Right there. Do you guys know this? Do you like know the answers to this already? We have to know. You Joey <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I don't. I, I don't even know the answer. But yeah, I think like any any Chingy probably like yeah, some probably. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. Right there. You know. Um, yeah. What's, what's the other one? Fuck, dude. I don't even know. I can't. Ice even. cream paint job. Mm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> did you uh, grow to like more rock music or did you stay like, like, was it just mostly listening to a lot of rap music and like rap evolving now to like include some of that influence that brought you to where you're at? Um, like, I mean, I, I listened to like so much Blink-182 when I was little mm-hmm. that like, like I, I remember my, my friend in like fourth grade gave me this fucking you remember how like he used to burn cds like rip them yeah. it was like this one that had like this purple design on it and i used to play that shit every day i had that and a nelly one and that was just like all i listened to and like when i was early like making music i had this like fake like mark hoppus voice i would do in my garage like when i'd write songs really and then eventually it just got better yeah. and better <laughs> So do you play any instruments or did you like just that guitar was just kind of like you fucking around or like Um Yeah, I wouldn't I would not say I play guitar at all. Yeah. But I I can play some some guitar if if I need to. Yeah, to get like something that you need like to use in something. Yeah. Cuz you're a producer now, right, too? Officially. Yeah, I've been producing for like probably like a year. I would I would say I'm a producer now. Nice. Mm. It's fun. Kind of in the same line. Would you ever think about performing with like a live band? Because I think your sound kind of lends towards that experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, in high school, um, 
I uh, I was doing a show out here at the Mad Frog, and I we didn't actually like do the show because they wouldn't let my girlfriend in at the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck her. But <laughs> yeah, no, I had her. I had like a live drummer and stuff, and it was gonna be sweet, but I made him pack it up. Yeah, we had to get out of there. What was the band called? Uh, well, we we didn't have a band or anything. It was just like, just like a guy I was gonna do my rap set and just have live drums with it. Got you. Yeah, yeah I think that would be really sweet for your yeah. sound to see, like you know, a guitarist and someone up there. Especially like yeah, like door off its hinges and ripping at the seams. Like so, those songs lend themselves so well to something like that. Oh yeah, I no. feel like I would. I'm like, I want to get there. You know? Yeah, totally. Like if I do a tour, like I would, I would want like a. Maybe not my first tour, but yeah, know, yeah. Later eventually, on, like a full to... full mm-hmm. band would be sick. Yeah, that's yeah, badass. that'd be tight. So I saw I've saw on your Twitter that you used to do some graphic design for like other people do like cover art and shit. Yes, sir. Do you do all your own most of the time. Most, most of the time. It. Yeah. Okay, I've gotten away from it a little bit. Uh, so I like I'll do my covers every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But. Um, yeah, like two years ago, I was like, I was making hella covers for a lot of people. Nice. Do you do Love Me Never? Uh, kinda. That that album artwork is is kind of like a a long story. A long story. Yeah, I had um, I was gonna have this dude, um, Mark Mark Girl. He uh, he's tight with. He's like one of Brick's dudes. He. Mm-hmm. He, like, worked for a big firm out in L.A. So, yeah. like, the whole time he was supposed to do it, and, like, we had taken these photos, um, which is, like, the photo we used. Yeah. And, um, it like, it just wasn't happening, like, as quickly as I wanted. And then, um, like, by the time, like, I needed it, I had just, like, a totally different idea of what I wanted. Mm-hmm. So I, like, did it myself, and then I wanted it to be kind of nice. So I had, I had River help me out with it. And um, Man, River's getting a lot of shout-outs in this one, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out Dave. I would slash I wouldn't River. be shit without River Ken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that like I guess this is a kind of a question for you, and then I guess kind of a question for River. It, like a lot of the vibe that I caught from like visually from it was like reminded me of like My Bloody Valentine or like The Cure or something like that. Is that at all like any influence or like eighties, like eighties, nineties like aesthetics? Yeah, go yeah, there we go. Yeah, get a, we'll get a cameo. Mm-hmm. What's this up, is guys? Riverkin. Good to see you, everyone. Hope you're having a blessed day. <laughs> uh, no, really, I think, at least in my head, the inspiration was from like old, like 80s kind of like punk rock show posters. Where yeah. like it's on like a piece of purple paper and everything's just like black printed black, on it or yeah. whatever. That was kind of really like the, in my head when I was making it, was what I was thinking of. And I'm sure that Joey probably had in his own yeah. kind of perception of what it was in his head, but it all came together really easily. Yeah. yeah. Looks great. As yeah, long of a story sure. as it is. But. No, yeah, I feel you. No, I that's. I was, I was mostly just kind of like fucking around with it, trying to make it something I would like. And then <laughs> I sent it to the man to make it more official. and Nice. Less uh, Double lady. question to add on top. Do you have that tattoo on your face? Up this there? one? Yeah, that's real. Love me. That's real. Is the over tattoo on you as well? It's never. It's never? Yeah, we... So River. photoshopped it to over. Yep. That's an um, that's amazing. What the fuck? That is badass. That, and it was so the picture for the over was it taken right when it was like red, like from getting the tattoo. Yeah, I took and, that like that was like the picture I took of it like right when I got it. Oh, that's so sweet. And then you just switched it like used like clone stamp shit or something like that. That's yep. crazy. That's wild. So love me and then never, but you changed the never to over. Yeah. That's exactly. Tight. That's tight. Hollywood magic. How many tattoos total? Shit. Uh, Too many. I got. I got a bunch on my arm. Yeah. Um. Maybe like ten. Maybe. What's, what's the nice. next one? You got one in mind that you're like waiting to get? Um. I want like a big skull on my elbow. It's like the last big piece on my arm, mm-hmm. and then the rest will just be like filler. That's cool. I would show you guys, but I got tattoos I'm ashamed of. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. I can't afford tattoos I'm ashamed of. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> you know I don't I mean? even want any tattoos right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a. I want to. I want to get a big hand tattoo though. Yeah. yeah That's my next step. It's the hand. Nice. 
probably probably won't go back to the base really ever again. Ever? Um, don't want to say never. I don't want to say never. <laughs> that's why it's ta- that's why it's tatted on me because I don't like to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. The face is just overrated. It got super saturated fast. Like I had, I had this in like 2016. I got it, mm. and it was like just becoming like a. Like a thing for SoundCloud rappers that weren't in gangs and shit. Yeah. And um, yeah, people people don't even think it's real. People think I got it for other reasons, which I didn't. I got it for me. <laughs> Look in the camera when I say that. I got yeah. it for me. Who are you like embarrassed that you listen to a bunch? Like who you get roasted for listening to with all your friends? Oh shit. Who am I embarrassed to listen? Maybe to? someone you get shit for that you're not embarrassed about. You know that you just oh, right, love right, so right. much yeah, that no, you don't me. care. I'm trying to think. Yeah, probably that's probably right. You know? Fat Boy Slim. Yeah, Fat Boy Slim. Um, Shout out, fucking, praise, praise you by Fat Boy Slim. With that, with that Fat Boy Slim album that I used to bang like in my Bose CD player. Mm-hmm. Like, just unconditional love for it. Yeah, that and like, like Creed, like. A gen- oh, genuine man. love for Creed. Like. Dude, <laughs> that's tight. I had the Creed CD arms wide open when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah, that in my boombox probably cried. <laughs> <laughs> River had a poster of it on his wall. That's what he said. But With wow, arms. that's what you should have sang for Dude, the intro. I said earlier that I was gonna sing. <laughs> With arms wide open. <laughs> we'll cut it right in. Yeah, that'll be perfect. No, I said I was gonna sing like "Home" by Daughtry or like something like yeah, something Daughtry. like that. When I was a kid, I was like, "Dude, if like that's how I'm gonna sing, if I can say like it seems easy to be like 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 it's easy to sing like that." For some reason. I get just like right in the bottom here. Yeah, yeah. Chin for some reason. Not much range. You just gotta like hit that one. Some, like, some Bo Bice maybe. Bo Bice. Oh, shout out American Bo Bice. Idol runner up Bo Bice. Yeah. He never responded to my invitation to come onto the show. Damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. He's a dick. <laughs> Who do you get roasted for for listening to? I was going to say, like, Bo Bice. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Bo Bice, yeah. Dude, I yeah. get roasted for everything I listen to. Same. Yeah. I get roasted for listening to, like, Bossa Nova and, mm-hmm. like, some old jazz that yeah. you'll hate on. I get roasted for listening to, like, Ariana Grande a lot. Yeah. But I think she's tight. So. I used to get shit for listening to, like, The Beatles on John Lennon. Yeah. Really? Yeah. People, not fans, man. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. My dad hates the Beatles, but that's about it. And you. And me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's two things you and the Beatles have in common. Probably the only thing you have in common with the Beatles. I only, I only liked sometimes. the Beatles when I did a lot of acid. Yeah. And I was in high school. and I like all You watch Yellow Submarine? Yeah. Like, all I did was smoke <laughs> weed and wear mm. bucket hats and shit, so. Damn. That's dope. That's what you were doing in high school? Yeah. Damn. You and Luna would have got along in high school. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) He was doing that type of thing, too. Popery, starting now. Have you ever broken a bone? No. I tore my MCL once, but... Let's hear it. What happened? Oh, man. (laughs) Believe it or not, I used to be a football player. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I believe that. And I was was like a slot wide receiver. Yeah. uh, It was two days. My sophomore year. And I got I got taken down by this kid named by your own teammate. Yeah, yep. named what? <laughs> name was Taylor Wood. Oh, fuck you, Taylor Wood. Yeah, <laughs> uh, cut his career short. Yeah, it did. And I got hurt, and then I started making music, and then I never went back. Oh, that's something you and Blueface have in common. Yes, football. sir. We used to play football. Blueface, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi. <right. laughs> What's the fastest you've ever gone in a car? One. 30. Joey, that is dangerous. Yeah, I, wasn't I wasn't driving. Joey, I wasn't, I wasn't driving. I wasn't Come driving. I wasn't driving. With me driving, shit, maybe, maybe 60, 90. 65. Yeah, maybe 90. 65. Sometimes. <laughs> 130, though? What type of whip was it? Um, It was in high school. Tell me it's a was, shitty car that you, like, pushed there. Yeah, it was a Jeep. <laughs> it was, like, a Jeep Cherokee. I didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like, and that was just what the speedometer said. So I don't know yeah. how fast we were really going. But yeah. I was in the trunk. There's got to be a governor oh, the on the trunk. Jeep. Oh, there was the like fuck? there was like six people in oh the car. My God damn. 
That's yeah, risky yeah, stuff. That's, that's reckless, bro. Yeah, it was bad. That's badass. Dude. I used to hang that's out bad. with some some bad kids in high school. <laughs> really? After the after the knee injury, you know. Sorry. Yep. Got mixed up. Hanging out with musicians. <laughs> the bad wrong started crowd. becoming a rapper. And <laughs> yeah. Shit. It was fuck. Damn. Yeah. Would you? Do you think you stand a better chance at winning a chili cook off or winning a like chili dance off? Probably a chili cook off. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You a pretty good chef? Mm -hmm. No, but my mom does have this chili recipe. It's I, it's I, so you know she passed it down. Pass could, it down. Probably run it up. Probably run it up. You don't think you could do well in like a cold dance, dance off? off outside? No, no, I'm not. I'm not too keen on on the dance moves. You know, nah. I have to be pretty, pretty drunk. Current. So pretty drunk. <laughs> if I was drunk, it wouldn't be chili. So that's true. I couldn't win. That's true. What do you think you would have been if you weren't a musician? Like, if you, like, had to pick a career path? Shit. Um, I don't know. Um, like, I, I did, like, a semester of college, and uh, I was a fine arts major. Oh, really? So I was going to, I was going to Wright State, and I was going to either transfer um, into like a graphic design program somewhere else or stay there and just do photography. But, you know, I didn't last a semester. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So I was like, this is, this is not cool. Yeah. Not that college isn't. Right. You know, no, that's fine. Yeah, for sure. It's just not yeah, for me. Not for you. I wanted to be a garbage man in third grade. That. It didn't pan out. <laughs> didn't have the credentials. <laughs> Couldn't make the cut. <laughs> no. Not strong enough. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't strong. I can't. You have to lift 60 pounds or something like that. So I can't do it. <laughs> You know I know I mean? my trash is more than 60 pounds. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And my baggage is more than 60 pounds. So, <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have like alligator skin? It's like reptilian skin or like two whole ass fish for feet. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Probably reptilian skin. Yeah, I was going to say, I know which one's better for your image. <laughs> 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 I feel like fish, like, you know, unless Smelly. you're walking in water, like, that shit's going to get Like, no one's thinking that's hard. Like, <laughs> yeah. not everyone will like the fish alligator foot, skin, like, but a couple people might be like, oh, that's good. But then hard. again, like, fish foot, that's a fire name. Yeah. Fish you. foot, yeah. Fish foot. Young, that's free for whoever is starting to rap right now. Fish, fish foot. <laughs> young fish foot. Free. Also, fish foot. if you had alligator skin, you could shed it and then sell it to they people don't to make shed. boots. Yep, exactly. Alligators don't shed. I don't know enough about yeah, alligators. I mean, uh, did they not shed? They wouldn't kill them. For their skins, if they shed all the time. True. That's yeah. Well, yeah. yeah you can't. They don't true. shed usable skin. I don't yeah, think. Admit, yeah. But I don't like to kill the animals. Yeah. I'm not trying to get flagged by Pete out here. So. Yeah. Okay. Pete'd be protecting you if you had to get alligator skin. That's true. Leave Joey alone. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> skins right. Skins for him. <laughs> exactly. Oh, if you had to eat one fast food place for your every meal the rest of your life, which one did you pick? You had to pick one. Popeyes. Popeyes? That counts? Yeah, that counts. I don't, know. I don't know. I think of fast food as like four places. Popeyes, I think like, geez, that's yeah. a pretty nice restaurant. I don't know if it counts. I don't know if that's fast food. You know my mom I mean? used to take me there on my birthday. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah okay. I feel like, yeah, okay. Th Popeyes that counts, yeah. Answer. I don't know. I always like say, if someone had asked me that, I would say like Taco Bell, but there's like a billion other places that are better than that. It's yeah. just that I think of like only McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Wendy's. Chick -fil -A. Oh fuck! Chick Fil A gives me a headache. Can't change your answer. Can't change it. Sorry, it's official. <laughs> well, it would go. Okay. Go. Popeyes, then Chick Fil A, then McDonald's, and then Taco Bell, mm. and then Wendy's. That's top five. That's what we need. Top five. Okay. Top five fast food restaurants. <laughs> yep. Hey, in America. <laughs> Period. What was your yeah. favorite meme of 2018? Oh shit. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I really like the uh, the Lil Xan No Cyrus meme, the face pass. Yeah, yeah, okay. This one? Just because that's the homie. That's probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. He got very bent out of shape. About Shout out it. Diego. <laughs> <laughs> he got literally bent out of shape about it. Yeah, no, that's he, <laughs> he unfollowed Kel because of it. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so funny. But it's all love. We love Lil Xan. My new favorite one is, uh, is uh, Uzi... Uzi dancing to the new Paddock snippet, but it's American football. That's my new favorite one. It's just that like white people be like, 
or something like that. <laughs> it was like the, <laughs> the caption, but I was dying. That shit is funny. Shit, it's only like my third day out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was that was good. I don't know if that counts as twenty eighteen or not. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was I think that was twenty seventeen. But I also saw one today. There's a good meme format of a lady and it's like a couple and they're like hiking and a lady is throwing a baby to the guy and the baby's like in the air and people are just putting something on the baby and something on the guy and something on the girl yeah. oh, and it was shit. like what well, the one that i saw today was like my emo phase and then it was the the woman throwing the baby and then the baby was two-door cinema club and the dad was my indie face <laughs> that's what i saw <laughs> that meme with the dude looking back at the girl that's like my yeah. least favorite yeah that format that's format. like yeah i don't like that one i the first one i ever saw of that which is really weird was like the one was Young Thug and one was Saw Baby, like a really long time ago. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then it got used a million times. I like the one where Thug's on the computer. And it's like you and ask your little, older with, brother how to like show you to navigate. With Lil Dirk. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or like when your brother makes your MySpace look sick. <laughs> yeah. He looks so serious. I oh, love yeah. that. That was great. <laughs> First, before we before we end this out, we got a gift for Joey though. Oh yeah, for sure. We got, we got a gift. Yeah, we got a gift for you. Go grab it, Graydon. Yes, bro. Go. I've wanted one of these for so long. The new ho- batch. Team hoodies. You're, new you batch. literally have the first one of the new batch embroidered hive mind hoodies. What size do you wear? We'll replace it if it's not your size. Uh, this is a large. <laughs> God, we guessed it. Genius, it's like we did genius. all our research and shit. <laughs> oh wait, I have a I have like a, a great episode of Nardwar, dude. dude, I have a great <laughs> ending. This is like one. Like, uh, it's so funny. Uh, I'll ask it, and then I'll show you why I'm asking it. Dude, I, who did I send it to? It's a tweet of yours. The s- which one? Oh, shit. Tweet I have a good one the tweet later. Let me know if it's this one. I hope it's the one. It's such a good one. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I'm <laughs> going to put it up on the screen, but... It says, God fucking damn it, I hate being 17. (laughs) (laughs) I was like dying laughing, bro. Yeah. Every 17 year old. Being 17 sucked because, I don't know, man, I had no friends that were my age. Everybody was older. So at 17, I was the only one who who couldn't get in. Yeah. Yeah. And you can... You can even ask River. When I was seventeen, he was he had to sneak me into like bars to do shows and shit. Damn. So that's why it hey. sucked. <laughs> that's ass. a legit reason. That's not you know just angst. And you couldn't buy Swishers. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, Fuck. I couldn't buy Swishers. <laughs> or lotto tickets. Or cigarettes. Yeah. Back when those were cool. They're not. Yeah, seventeen sucked. What you're a junior in high school at seventeen, you're supposed to like, yep. you're supposed to know you're about to go to college and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know shit. I sucked at school. I was just torn emotional up as knee. fuck. Yep, torn yep. up knee. <laughs> yeah. My dreams started failing. I was like, I'll never be I literally don't remember being seventeen because I feel like I was You were blacked out drunk black. all the time. No, I just like blacked out <laughs> emotional. That's I feel like what it was. I was That's like, I'm saying, nah. it, I had to I had to try to remember all that really hard locked it out <laughs> yeah because of the knee injury probably yeah <laughs> More <part of> school. <laughs> i would have gone pro then, you know? yeah he would have all right I hurt my knee thank you joey for being here thank you for having me. yeah of course where can they find your music anywhere they know soundcloud spotify spotify play it on spotify yeah they give the man some plays for fuck's yeah. sake yeah, or pay it play it on title they have the most they yep Did they it? pay the most i get like four dollars a month from title so i don't Spotify pays me the best. But that's because Jay Z's not cooking your numbers like he is. True. True. <laughs> All right. Spotify, Joey Rezuk, highmindtv.com. Check it out. Sure. Sure.